Hey guys, so I finally decided to jump into a two-man queue, and we're off, and we're going to be keeping this hand, and hoping that uh, it works out. We're playing against blue-white tempo, or Bant. Uh, not something I want to see, because that's a terrible draw for now. Yeah, this hand was a little bit loose. Um, not something I want to see, because a lot of my creatures... Uh, get out classed in this matchup. Alright, so he's playing Bant. We're gonna go and I was gonna say we're gonna fetch up a red source but it looks like we'll just get a temple garden here since we hit the root bound crag. And we'll be slightly ahead on mana on our turn. Hopefully we'll be able to stick this hunt master and not get mana screwed for the rest of the way. All I want to see is lands. And that's a good one. Let's see if Huntmaster sticks. Don't know if he's playing Essence Scatter. I don't think they are. They're just trying to get to Thrag Tusk as fast as possible. Be nice if he didn't have anything on my turn. Looks like this might be a Think Twice or an Azorius Charm. So that probably means he has a play on his turn, which might be a Jace. Um. Could also be a centaur healer. But no matter what it is, as long as it's not dissipate, I think we're going to be trying to stick a Garruk here. Okay, another Huntmaster is really good there. The only problem with that is uh, Detention Sphere is a real card. So two for one myself is not very strong. And we will oblige and play a Garruk here and then we'll make a beast and pass. So Garruk and all planeswalkers are not really amazing um, in a sense that they really don't allow you to do too much because of detention sphere. And there you go, we see a detention sphere. And he's used it on Garrick, and that's fine. Um, he seems like a comp. Uh, no, I don't think I want to spend my turn doing that. He seems like a competent player. He might have Zorius Charm here. He's pretty sure I ended up with a miracle. Maybe it would have been better to just put him to five there. But I'm going to make another Garrick. Yeah, that probably would have been better just to bonfire him for five and then, uh, for four, excuse me, have him to five and then put him in a really tight spot. But I kind of wanted to save it to get some of his creatures. That might have been way too greedy. This might be a terminus here. It also might be another detention sphere. Okay, Supreme Verdict. It's fine. That doesn't necessarily do much does buy him time and a lot of uh, answers to kind of find Thrag Tusk. Okay, we'll play another Huntmaster. He's still got to think twice in the yard. So yeah, I definitely think not bonfiring there was, was incorrect. I think we should have 100% bonfired there. Okay, so a lot of things. I don't really know how to board appropriately in this matchup, to be perfectly honest. I've played it a few times now. I have to assume these come in because they get rid of detention spheres. Um, Mizium Mortars doesn't hit what we want it to hit. Uh, Smiter's good and he's a really fast clock, but he gets traded out with Thragtus and I don't have any Rancors. Rest in Peace doesn't really do much. I mean, it's it does get uh, Snapcaster, Shenanigans. I think I probably just want another Devil's Play and maybe I want Armada Worms. I'm not too sure. I might also want Conscripts and another Garrick. I think these are cards that I don't really want. So that being said, he's probably boarding into way more control-ish build 
Um, I don't really like the bonfires, but they do kind of end the stalemates. Another thing is Angel Serenity is really not great against him, but we do need kind of like a haymaker, and I don't know if Armada Worm's really going to be that. I think I can go with a 1-1 one -one split. It may be wrong, but they have so many ways to get rid of Angel Serenity, and at least this guy spits out a token. I kind of want to cut these bonfires as I don't think they do as much as you want them to do, but they do sometimes mize and, and wipe the board. I think I'm going to go with this. However, I still have one too too many cards. I like Conscripts a lot in this matchup. Maybe Huntmaster isn't as amazing. I mean, it does make dudes. I'll cut a Borderland Ranger and... Hmm... I mean, I want a full boat of these because they really deal with it well. I guess I'll cut a Huntmaster. I don't know. I honestly haven't had to board and don't really know how to board against this deck. Maybe one of Mizium Mortars is a one of, just to kind of clear his board. I don't know. Does this come in against Bant? Let me know in the comments. I mean, we'll be on the play in the next round. I mean, maybe I want a Mizium Mortars. Maybe I want to go like super fast aggro beatdown. I don't think so, but we'll see. This is how the deck rolls. We'll roll with the homies. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, we'll see what our opponent decides to do. Um, this hand's a little bit weak, to be perfectly honest. It doesn't apply early pressure. Um, we do get to fix our mana, and I'm hoping to draw into some gas, so I'm going to keep it. We do have all of our colors here, so that's always good. Devil's Play is not the type of gas I'm hoping to draw into. I think this is not a favorable matchup for us, as you'll probably see in this game too. Especially since I think I boarded incorrectly. I'm going to go ahead and Farseek here. He didn't really do anything, so he might just negate it, but I don't think that's something he really wants to negate. Hmm. I think I'll take the Temple Garden. Even though I have the Devil's Play in hand and two red spells, I don't want to get green screwed uh, in case I rip off some Garrix here. Um, and next turn I'm going to be playing this, and I can potentially get a red source then. He might have a Dissipate here. Um, hmm. What's less risky? Kind of want to have a creature in play. Um... This guarantees me land, and this guarantees me Thrag Tusk. So I think I'm going to go for that over the creature that could potentially get countered. So we'll put a mountain into play tapped. It probably lets him know, like, hey, look, that's odd. That means he doesn't have another Garrick, but... You know, nothing nothing we could do about that. The good thing about Zealous Conscripts is it does steal and make ultimates pretty sweet. Um, we're kind of far ahead on land here, but I have a feeling he has Dissipate. <sighs> that being said, I really don't want to just um, not run this out here, but he hasn't done anything. So I'm actually going to not risk it, and I'm going to just play out this Borderland Ranger. I mean, Borderland Ranger isn't really threatening right now, so to speak, but it is good at continuing my mana. Um, it also allows me to do things, and it, it forces him to kind of have to have a response to this, because I could pump him to a 6-4. This is probably, I'd say, Thrag Tusk, if I had to guess anything. Oh, nope. Farseek. But he's definitely holding up the Dissipate. 
he might Azorius charm my guy to the top, but I think I'm okay just really drawing lands and bashing with my Borderland Ranger. And if he just time walks us here, it sucks, but I think it's okay to try to go for this and make him have to answer this threat. I could be wrong. Um, I don't think it's wrong because I have this. So we're really just trying to get him very low and then kind of finish him off with the Devil's Play or his Zealous Conscripts. He now has seven mana. Okay, that's totally fine. We know he has Dissipate, which isn't great for us. Um, he's really representing that Dissipate hard. I kind of don't want to run my Thrag Tusk into it. Hmm. I think it might be worth it to run my Thrag Tusk into a Dissipate because then I can Conscripts his threat and then I can Restoration Angel it and do it again. But I don't know if that's going to be big enough. Um, I can also start chucking this at his head. I think I think I just go for the Thrag Tusk here. Even though I'm... I know it's going to get dissipated, but I'd rather it get dissipated than this guy. Because this guy's going to win the game. Okay, so we got to dissipate out of his hand. Now we got to be careful that Snapcaster Dissipate doesn't just kill us on our turn. It's unfortunate that that happened, but here comes a Beast Token and probably a Dissipate or a beast and probably a dissipate which I definitely am not a fan of I think that this game is gonna get quickly out of hand pretty sure he's got dissipate again which would just be really kinda shitty but it is what it is So if he's got another dissipate, he's got another dissipate. All right, he doesn't. So that's good. Okay, so be funny if he has an Azorius charm. Now I can actually Devil's Play this and get the token, but I think I'd rather just uh, Resto Angel this and try to steal it again. He's got to think something's up. Because of the fact that I left up four mana. Curious to see what he's got in hand. He's got one card in hand. So it may not even be that amazing. I don't think this interaction works until end of turn. So we're going to try this now. See if we don't get counterspelled. Steal this up good. Oh, he's got his own angel? Damn. That's crazy. That's such a beating. Like, you don't understand how much of a beating that, that play was, that that was his last card. Oh, man. Now we actually have a game, which, in my opinion, really sucks. Okay. Is what it is. I can't sit here and, you know get all stressed over it it 
that was was not expecting that to be perfectly honest with you it's unfortunate um, but we can make this angel trample uh, unless he's got just something good here I mean he did just top deck so we'll see what he drew and okay I don't like that play but I guess that's fine for him Okay, we're just going to Devil's Play him for a huge amount. Since this is the only action in our hand. So for 10. And then we'll definitely be able to do it for 6. As long as he doesn't draw a Dissipate off the top or a counter spell. So we'll see what he does. He might draw another Thrag Tusk or something. Seems like he's drawn something. Uh, Zorius Charm trying to dig for a counter or a Tusk. He's not scooping, <clears throat> so that makes me think he's drawn live. Unless he's just like a master bluffer. Uh, I'm just going to go for a kill here. You know what, I better play my extra land just in case. three so let's make one two three four five six he could syncopate me for more than that so I'll just make it for I don't know if he's got any life gain but if he's gonna syncopate me he's gonna syncopate me I think we got it unless he just drew wow this guy is Drawing pretty well, I have to say. But we have a lot of live draws. Oh, now we don't. All right, well, we got to do 11 and deal with this beast. And we just keep ripping land. All right, maybe we'll just straight up lose to a eight turn beast token. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have gone for it there, but I don't think I have another choice. Now he's got Elixir himself up to 11. He draws land and plays it, which is nice. Um, we just got to draw something live. We have a lot of trample damage. That's actually fine. Yes, I will thin the hell out of my deck. Okay, so in play we can deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's very awesome. That's a great draw. You gotta love when that happens. Alright, anything? Alright, well, we're gonna go in with our Borderland Ranger. See if he wants to block or not. Okay, so let's wolf run. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll go to seven. And he'll elixir up, and we'll trade out this. So we'll go to 16, and we'll trample him down to 10. And we'll make a hunt master, and hope he doesn't draw anything like a thrag tusk. Because now we're in a really good spot with no sweeper or thrag tusk. So we'll put him to 8. And we're going to OK, 
going to make our wolf a 4-2. The reason being that he might have a Celestia charm. Which I guess we should have risked it. Oh god, he's got a, a Sphinx's Revelation. You know, I have to say, maybe I'm playing this game terribly. But, Jesus Christ. Like, I know, alright. I played around one card, but I didn't play around that card. And now, there's no way he's not going to be able to answer this board. No way that he doesn't have a Thrag Tusk. I just feel really dumb there. Um, he's probably drawn another one or a Snapcaster. So I shouldn't have played around that. I definitely could have dealt the extra eight there. So without a shadow of a doubt, should have done that differently. I've been letting this guy hang around all game, and now he's going to most likely be able to come back with drawing eight cards and kill me. And that's my own fault. I shouldn't have played around Celestia Charm there. I should have just went full boat all in. I'm selling to draw a card. Alright, um, I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, I might want to populate this. I'm pretty sure he has a Restoration Angel in his, in his grips. Okay... That's fine. He's trying to hit, switch my Huntmaster back, which is fine. Alright, well. We will destroy your ground seal, sir. And we will populate a wolf. And this will flip back. We'll gain two life. We're also at 13, which is pretty bad for us. Well, that's a good draw. All right, um, Azurius Charm is bad for us, but let's see. We can do. We could split this up nice. So he blocks one. We're just gonna attack with these two. Maybe I should have swung with the Hunt Master. Okay, so he blocks one there. Uh, we know he doesn't have an angel. So we'll go all in on this one for now. Seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, all right, it's getting his Aureus Charmed, and he ate a wolf, but I, I don't know, I think I'm just getting outplayed, like, completely, there, put it to the top, you got it, because I'm terrible, I'm just giving him all the outs in the world, sure, eat a wolf, but he would have just eaten my Hunt Master, so he, we did absolutely nothing there, and he time walked me because he played a spell. So he time walked my hunt master. So I'm just like, please do whatever you want, sir. Just enjoy. <laughs> I mean, it's just very frustrating. Like anything he has here. So I would have swung with that. It would have got put on top. This would have gotten eaten. This would have been on top. Yeah, this this game is kind of a wash for me because I've just effed it up and now he's gonna be greedy with the beast which is fine alright well I can't devils play him for 18 unfortunately I can do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 the question is does he have snapcaster mage <laughs> if he brought in ground seal I have to assume he doesn't have snapcaster mage but Snapcaster Mage Dissipate is just awful for us. 
I think I'm going to try to crash in with both. I can't actually kill him here. You know what? I should have devil's played him first and, and see what happens. I don't know. I'm just not thinking this game. I don't know what it is. I think I'm tired and stressed from Thanksgiving coming up. I've been cooking turkey all night long. That's actually not true. Um, hmm. Swing with both. It kills both. I don't even. I'm just going for it again. If he's got to dissipate, he's got to dissipate. I just sit here and look stupid. At this point, I kind of feel like I've punted this game away so many times. You can comment how many times I've actually punted it away. If this resolves and doesn't get hit with a negate or a dissipate or anything, I'd be very, very relieved. But I'm pretty sure he's got it. Yep, you got it, kid. You got it. Uh, aggravation city is where I live because I suck at fucking magic cards. Amass the components. Sure, just draw more cards. Funny thing is I'm also losing on clock, which I find very strange. I'm just terrible. I'm in self self loathing mode at how many times I let him in this game and how just all of my spells that were good just got countered. Sure, hit me, I don't care. Hit me with your best shot. Boom, boom, boom. He's only just sculpted the perfect hand, which probably involves a restoration angel. Yeah, why the fuck not? Let's just crash in. Big stupid things. You block. You got it. Let's do this thing. Stupid. Who plays around Celestia Charm? What idiot plays around Celestia Charm? I've got a pillar of flame. I'm good at magic. The only reason I did this is because when stuff happens, like he plays a spell or puts this on top, then I want to play out my pilgrim because you know he has a spell here. It's a restoration angel. Another sphinx's revelation? Sure. Revelate all over my face, buddy. Why not? We'll play our dork. I'm really annoyed I lost this game and that I lost my stupid devil's play to a dissipate when I knew he had it. Okay, we're back to this. Maybe I should have held out my uh, guy. This is a hard matchup when they have sweepers and they're sweepers. See, he's not greedy though. Yep, do that. Do what you gotta do. Play your cards. I find it odd that he boarded in ground seal. Okay. Revelate back up to 20. That's cool. Oh. I hate this card. He's just on the grind me out plan. 
which currently I'm winning on time, so I'm not really going to be too concerned. I'm just going to play my turn as fast as possible at this point, because I don't think I'm killing him this game, to be perfectly honest. Yep, and I thought I had a lot of mana. Yep. Don't worry, still F6. Be cool if he had like laboratory ma maniac or mechanic, whatever it is, in his deck. Ah, land. Land. Feeling land. A few more lands. Zorius charm. Think twice. Okay. Hey, look, it's my turn. Well, that's a good one. I'm sure that's not going to die. Sure, I make enough green things. And then I'll lift six my turn. Doesn't seem like he has snapcasters. I could be wrong. Here's probably a snapcaster. Oh, nope. He's just got to dissipate. Okay. It's good to know. Elixir of Immortality. Oh, man. He is rocking my butt off now. I think I go on the fast beatdown plan, game three. If there is a game three, I can, of course, like, rip something, but I doubt it. Not a land? Uh, I guess I'll take an Oblivion Ring. I still have Garruks up the wazoo, too. As long as I'm not getting beaten by things, I'm okay. But uh, here he has to flash in a Thrag Tusk or some sort of creature. I mean, I am at 9. If he doesn't draw infinite cards or flash something in here, I'd be surprised. Angel, maybe? Jeez, that's a gigantic Sphinx's Revelation for a lot. <laughs> I think it was like 15 or something insane. I could do simple math. I'm just hoping to draw dudes. Okay, here comes a Thrag Tusk, I would assume. If only there were an alternate win condition. That thing's going to finish me very fast. But we should... I mean, nine minutes is a lot of time. The fact that we're playing for clock here is just such a, a crappy feeling for the simple fact that we had this game won like three separate times. I just... maybe even more. I just let them all go away. Oh, now you have to discard down... Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna sit here and sing. <sighs> oh man, he got rid of all four. Let's see his graveyard. He was just like, Supreme Verdict? No thanks. Alright, this does things. As long as he doesn't have a dissipate, which I would find odd that he doesn't have a dissipate. But I'm going to be a little vagina and, and make him kill me here. Okay, and now you win. Alright, so I don't have to play around Celestia Charm, which was very stupid of me. But nonetheless crappy feeling, bring him all the way down and just losing. Oh well, alright, let's uh, see where we want to be at. I kind of think maybe we want the rest in peace against him. Stupid as it sounds. 
I think we want another Huntmaster. I think we want a smaller package. I mean, Angel's great, but if I'm bringing Rest in Peace, I don't think it's as amazing. It's Right. So center and growth is probably not worth it. Um, doesn't seem like he has too many gargs. I'm gonna try to beat him with creatures. Uh, I think I want a miser's bonfire as well, just to if stuff hits the fan. And I think oblivion rings are one too many. And I could see two Borderland Rangers. I'm okay with this. Let's let's rock this out and hopefully not suck like we've been sucking. You know what I mean? Alright, we'll play first. And I think we're going to keep this. It's very slow, but these are going to be hopefully a pain in the ass to deal with for him. And we want to be putting pressure on him as much as possible we have sort of a mid game plan here and if we hit any acceleration you know should be okay there's only one way to get this out on turn two anyway so I'm okay with a little bit of a slow start <clears throat> especially since it seems to come down before um, excuse me let me thing can get this it comes down before dissipate um, it also can't be countered anyway so that's always nice <clears throat> to hit the ground running with a little big biatch here uh, that's unfortunate that he hit a land there I had a feeling he didn't have a land there maybe he did but that's really kind of crappy for us since he's allowed to <clears throat> now keep up with us in a sense I think I want to get to my fives here um, to just try to beat him down I want to play this but I think I'm gonna go with the 4-4 four four. the 4-4 four four is gonna get in some damage here assuming he doesn't get put on top of my library which would be very annoying, which is why I might want to Borderland Ranger first. Let's see what happens with that. All right, now there's a few things I could do here. The safest play is to just get a Borderland Ranger into play. Um, he might dissipate it, I doubt it. Borderland Ranger doesn't really do anything, especially if he has a Thrag Tusk next turn. But it's, it's better to get these things countered or wrathed away versus him having a Thrag Tusk. And if he plays the Tusk here, we're good. He knows about that land, which is why I'm willing to just do this. And we're just going to sit. We're just going to sit here. We might rest your angel. Oh, choose your target, sir. Okay, well, um, going to play this out. I have a feeling this is going to get dissipated, but that will clear the board for our Thrag Tusk or Garrick. I'm assuming Garrick. Okay, we'll bash for two, and while he's tapped out, I'm just gonna make a Garrick. Um, hmm. Actually, you know what? I think it might be better to make a re uh, Thrag Tusk. It doesn't actually, nothing kills him. Hmm. He wraths him left with a 3-3. Three, three. I have time to think here. 
probably can deal with it, but then it spits out a 3-3. Three, three. This constantly spits out 3-3s. Three, it's going to be hard for him to deal with the Garrig. I'm going to go with the Garrig. Let me know what you would have done here. Um, the Tension Sphere still leaves behind a 3-3. Three, three which is fine. It is also going to give me some card draw against him. Um, he's also probably got to be fearful of the... Well, Terminus is a good one off the top. That's probably why I should have played this, but I guess I'm still in the same boat. Uh, you go on the bottom. It's a very good one. Let's see if he also ripped one here play this it can't be countered um, this doesn't f change the clock so mm, resto angel I think drawing three cards here is probably the best um, Especially since we just drew another Garrick, which is nice. I wonder if he's got an instant speed board sweep. This does change the equation, so let's try to Tusk here. He might dissipate it. If not, he's got to answer 9 power and 3 that's spit back. Cavern of Souls. Hopefully no Angel of Serenity there. Chose Beast. Alright, let's not F this up this time. That should be 9. We're going to let him respond. And see what he's doing here. Might be Terminus. Oh no, we are killing the shit out of you this time, buddy. We are killing the shit out of you this time. And that will do it. Yep, alright, well, that game too was an aberration. That's a big word that I think I know. That means that I suck at magic. Um, I hope you enjoyed me mising that win out of my behind. Once again, happy, happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating. If you're not, well, no problem with that. Just enjoy some football or these matches or whatever. Have a very nice day. I'll be bringing you a deck recap, and thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.